Aloha! I hope you're having a great summer and all is well with you. For the past week, I've been trying to catch some Olympic games here and there and had a chance to watch the men's team archer event. And my heart warmed to see Korean archers encourage one another with a very familiar cheer that is often spoken among Koreans, which is fighting. This is actually an English word, and if you're unfamiliar with Korean, then it's probably not going to make much sense, but the word is fighting. Yes, you heard me correctly, fighting. It's pronounced like waiting, but with an H in the front, so it's pronounced fighting. It's an expression of encouragement, often used in sporting events as a battle cry, but it's also used in our daily lives. The meaning is probably equivalent to our, keep up the good work, you got this, don't give up, good luck. You get the idea. Recently, I finished reading A.W. Tozer's book, The Crucified Life. And in the book, Tozer talks about how for the early Christians, our saying was, he is risen. He refers to it as our battle cry and goes on to explain how everything stemmed from not just saying this phrase, but believing and living it out. The courage, strength, and even the willingness to do and be all the early church has accomplished, even in situations where they had to lay down their own lives, rose from this simple phrase. Nowadays, the meaning usually does not carry the same weight as it did in the past. We probably only speak it once a year on Easter Sunday. But it should be spoken more often to encourage one another, especially in the season of a global pandemic. It's been more than a year and COVID is still here. And it looks like it's not going anywhere anytime soon. So we begin to worry. For many churches, our offering is down. And even for churches that have resumed in-person worship, the attendance has dropped significantly. And don't get me wrong, these are all valid concerns, but today I find comfort in the phrase, he is risen. In ministry, there are times when we forget that our Lord and Savior lives and that it is him and him alone who equips and empowers us to do amazing thing in his name. So at the end of the day, this is his church and his work. And I have full confidence that Christ will see us through this difficult season. So in the meantime, please do not be dismayed. May we continue to carry out the work as we have been doing all along. Christ lives and therefore we live. So Hawaii District, remind yourself today and always that you are doing great and I'm thankful to be in ministry with you. My message this month is short and simple. Fighting, keep up the good and faithful work.